everyone, it's Diane and today I just wanted to talk a little bit about signs of a spiritual awakening or a um, raising in frequency. And the first thing I want to say is that um, we are all at different levels and yet there are many, many more people now experiencing a spiritual awakening. And when I talk about being at different levels, I don't mean that some of us are higher or better or more progressed than others. It's just that some of us have been experiencing this for quite a long time now and the more we experience, the more we realise that there is to experience. So, you know, as you get to one level of frequency, then you're ready to get to another level. It's not the same as constantly fixing and repairing yourself, which, you know, can become a little bit of a trap and something that people can get quite stuck on and quite addicted to. It's more a question of you go up to a level of frequency and a level of connection and you believe, not that that's all there is, but you start to believe that this is really comfortable, this is really great, I'm receiving a lot of guidance, a lot of inspiration here and you know, I'm not done but you know, this is really great and then suddenly you'll be, find yourself rocketing up another um, set of frequencies. So I'm going to talk a little bit about that and I'm also going to talk about the initial uh, spiritual awakenings. So. Initially, experiencing a spiritual awakening can be a little bit of a shock. Spiritual awakenings can be triggered by all sorts of things. Um, anything from a bereavement to a change of economic circumstances to uh, some kind of physical accident or just something, something that shifts, something that changes. It can even be uh, precipitated by a psychic attack that makes you realise that, oh, I'm walking through more than just the physical universe here. I've known quite a few people people who have had um, weird engagements or encounters with people in a workplace, for example, where they've kind of plugged into the solar plexus and, and, and tried to control them. And, you know, maybe five years ago, this whole conversation, this whole idea would have been just bizarre. Like, what, what do you mean by that? What does that mean? But when you actually experience it, it can feel very, very real. And that, for some people, has been the doorway into realising that they are uh, energy beings and that they are somehow for some reason becoming sensitive enough to not only be awakened to that fact but to experience it in a way that is quite uncomfortable and sometimes that can be the result of um, a, a triggered, a prescribed awakening. So for example before you came into this incarnation it was agreed that you would awaken at this particular time and that it might be this second set of circumstances that would trigger that awakening. So if you're experiencing that right now, try not to be alarmed. Just understand that it won't pull you under. It's not, you know, going to go on forever. It is going to trigger you to go and seek solutions, which will have to be spiritual solutions because the nature of the attack is spiritual. And in seeking those solutions, you will begin to embrace that path of further discovery and further learning. So there are other ways of experiencing spiritual awakening. So for example, if everything changes and it suddenly causes you to question your life, to question your reality, to question what you're doing or what you're here for. You know, someone very close to you dies and not only is the bereavement, the loss, so great that it has a huge impact on you and your nervous system and your body and that sensitizes you and opens you up energetically, but also even if that doesn't happen, it can have you questioning philosophically, well, what's life all about? Why am I here? Am I making the best of, of what I'm doing while I'm here? Do you know, is this corporate job really serving me or do I need to be doing something that contributes to humanity? You know, this is you often hear people who lose someone to uh, cancer and then they go on to start uh, working for a cancer charity or, you know, uh, other things like that, that, that somehow awaken us to the fact that we are human, we are connected and we are here to serve. We are here to serve and to make things better. Each generation is here to do that and especially at this current time. So many, many, many of us are here to do that. And a spiritual awakening is, in a sense, your reawakening to the fact that your journey on this earth in this lifetime is a journey of service. And you may have been asleep for some time thinking that you are here simply for yourself. But no, no, no. Anything that awakens you to a wider awareness 
could be termed as a spiritual awakening and in a sense that is often the first stage of a spiritual awakening but there are other symptoms there are other ways of experiencing awakening you might find your sleep patterns begin to change you might find that you're awake awakening a lot during the night you might find your dreams become very powerful as you start to connect with other realms and dimensions and they start to find a seek ways to connect with you um, at a more meaningful level. You might also find that the things that you enjoyed before you no longer enjoy because as you become more sensitive you can't remain in those old stagnant energies. You can't necessarily do the things you did before. You might want to drink less. You might want to stop drinking altogether. You might want to eat different foods. You might even want to dress differently. You might want to choose different companions. You might suddenly find yourself being drawn into meditations involuntarily, seemingly. You might find yourself drifting off into a trance every now and again where your guides will be guiding you into more of a connection with what's actually really real. You might find that it takes a lot longer for you to adjust when you wake up in the morning to being in this realm because actually you've been traveling here, there and everywhere, increasing your learning during the night, increasing your learning, helping out with the general effort of raising the frequency of the planet, doing rescue work, sending lost souls into the light. You might find that you've been studying, that you've been to school. You might come back into this dimension with a consciousness of, oh, something happened in the night. It seemed important. I'm not sure what it was, but I know it was significant. You might have those strange feelings where it seems as if all dimensions are beginning to merge and so you sometimes forget things that belong to this 3D reality. You become forgetful. You put something down and the next minute you don't know where you put it. It's because these things become less relevant as an influx of inspirations of what really matters starts coming into you thick and fast in through those channels that are opening up rapidly. A spiritual awakening is an opening up of those channels which connect you quite strongly to the origins of what you truly are. It's embodying more of your spiritual potential, more of your spirit being, bringing more of that essence, that self, into the body and so anything that you experience as a clashing of dimensions or a discomfort with the 3D dimension you can almost certainly put down to being the result of a spiritual awakening. Sometimes you will feel strange vibrations in your body when you're going to sleep. Strange vibrations as your frequency, new frequencies, are trying to be calibrated within your physical being as your physical be being becomes finer and lighter. <sighs> Sometimes you'll find that you simply need to sit quietly and be alone much longer in order to feel that you can navigate and negotiate the physical reality. You will find that the noise becomes too much, that there are times when you just need to withdraw and be quiet. That there are times when you don't want to be among the fray. There are times when you don't even want to walk from A to B in the city. That you just want to stay inside and meditate and get quiet and find your inner core, find your strength again. You may find that you have to learn certain techniques to shield and protect your energy because you are beginning to, like a receiver, pick up on everything that's happening all the time, in all places, all around you, all at once. You might find that you begin to feel or sense or even hear the thoughts of others. You might find that you are feeling the energies of others far more than you would like to and that this becomes uncomfortable and you need to learn some new skills. All of these things can be a sign of a spiritual awakening and much, much more. But that's it for now. And if you find that any of these things are happening and becoming uncomfortable, know that you're not alone and take time and space to develop practices that support you. You're not going crazy and you can get through this and you can get through this with help if you ask for help, if you develop a practice of meditation. And also stay tuned, I'm going to be offering more videos. If you would like me to address anything in particular, that you're finding a challenge, please post under this video and let me know and I'll see if I can come up with a video to help with that. I want to answer your needs. 
so let me know what you need and we'll see what we can come up with if you've enjoyed this video please share it with your friends please like comment and subscribe and if you'd like to receive my daily messages please click the link below this video to go to channelinglove.net and sign up for those daily inspirations i hope you enjoyed that video everyone and um, happy awakenings Thank you.